And so I've got a gaming PC here from Dell. That's the Alienware Aurora. Uh, so it's a gaming PC, just about unboxing it. So yeah, here we go with the infamous Alienware logo. So let's just go around. Here we go. It's actually customized. Say 10% customized. As you can see it comes with a, a standard UK plug and um, a mouse, a Dell mouse, and a, and a Dell keyboard. So, this is how the big mount looks in the box before I pull him out. Um, first impression, really great. Love the design. That's the big man out of the box. Um, you've got all your connections here. And you've got your power button on. Yep. Yep. So this is an Intel i9 9th generation, just in case you're wondering. This is how it looks like. This is how it looks like. You've got the ventilation. That's enough for it to breathe. So that's it. I'll put out the full specs uh, below so you can have a look. But I'm going to read through quickly the important ones. In the back, this is how it looks like. Yep, you've got all your connections. That's your graphics card. And uh, go your USBs. It's quite a lot of the USBs. I think it's 15 in total. 15 USBs in total. So, see, I've taken off the plastic cover that was uh, uh, around the ventilation. So you need to take them off so the fan can work very much as it's supposed to. So I've taken it off from here as well, as you can see. So basically, uh, I'll just go through a few things about this PC. It's um, Intel i9 9900K, 8 core, 16 thread, 16 megabyte, cache it can be overclocked up to 4.7 gigahertz across all cores it has a windows 10 as well and uh, there's a 16 gigabyte uh ddr4 2666 megahertz um obviously i'm going to upgrade that to 64 i think that's the max i can put on this system um it also has a one terabyte 3.5 inch 7200 rpm SATA hard drive and uh, the most important thing that makes much of the difference is the 512 gigabyte m.2 pci express solid state drive so i'm assuming this should boot up my pc in less than 10 seconds five or ten seconds max so that's where i will have the windows installed and uh, basically that's it it also has um, an nvidia geforce rtx 2060 oc with a six gigabyte gddr6 so that's for your graphics card and it has it comes with a 260 watts EPA PSU liquid cooled chassis so that's all you need to know for this PC our PC switched on now and uh, obviously all you need to do is just go through next 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 to finish up the setup based on your preference this is how it looks switched on the lights are on yeah looks from the front when it's switched on that's a pretty cool light 
Um, I wonder how it looks in the dark, but there you go. So that's all our setup completed. And we've got our Alienware guy here. Uh, so you will be presented with a, a registration to enhance your support by Dell Support Assistant. Assist or yeah, so if you wish to register, I think it makes it much easier. Like with the drivers and uh, getting the the right tool set up, just to avoid all the hassle of downloading stuff that you really didn't need for this PC. So yeah, we go. It's a pretty fast system boots up really quickly so you can see the some of the specs here as i said it's a windows 10 pro you can see the processor here as well this should be really great for games um so there you go you can see more information of the pc uh from ms info 32 when you type that in you get all these advanced details for the specs for the PC so yeah you go you can make your decisions now if you wish to purchase one of these yep. just in case you're wondering what is already installed on the system uh, this is what you find in the control panel I'm just uh, just about to install the uh, McAfee antivirus. I find that not effective. Uh, I will replace that with something more effective. So these are the list of default programs you've got. Um, so here we go. Okay. Other default programs that can be installed, as you can see here. Alienware Command Center. Uh, let's move. The usual junk. Yeah, you can delete them. Yeah, that's a very good one. And uh, I think that's part of the Alienware Control Center. And uh, what else? Usual, usual. That's the boot up. Let's see how quick it is. That's it. Boot up completed. How quick was that? <laughs> so that's about it, folks. Uh, thanks very much for watching this video. Do subscribe to my channel and share the video. Thanks very much once again.